In today's video, I'll be playing the newly added Evolve Valkyrie in this minor wall breaker deck that she pairs really well in at 9,000 trophies on Trophy Road. Let's get into the first match. All right, here we go, guys. So as of recording this video, the person using this deck is number two in the world. So that shows you guys that it is very, very strong, the highest Evolve Valkyrie deck in the game at the moment and the evolved valkyrie even though she spawns a mini tornado she pairs exceptionally well with the regular tornado because kind of the idea behind it is when you have the evolved valkyrie down if there's units that are far away from her and she's not in range of pulling them with her tornado the regular tornado can then pull them so they are in range and you can end up getting a lot of value so we're going to get a magic archer lined up on top of the bar barrel and already a very nice start over here. This guy might be running Lumber Loon Freeze because we see the Baby Dragon, we see the Bowler, we know he's got the NATO. So it's looking like Lumber Loon for sure. We're going to go for Wall Breakers here. Hopefully we do surround that Bowler. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's actually get a Bomb Tower down. We're going to need a tank for that Lumberjack anyway. And then we're going to get a nice NATO just to pull that Loon to the King Tower. Already a really incredible start. Let's see if he decided. I was wondering if he's going to freeze potentially the right tower in the King Tower to get a ton of damage. He didn't end up doing that, but yeah, this is an amazing start. Pretty much one of the best matchups you could ask for, actually. So, you know, pretty happy to see this. See if we can end up getting some value out of the Evolved Valk. It's actually interesting, the Evolved Valk against the Balloon, because it does actually pool air. So that's something you have to consider. But that could actually backfire sometimes, because imagine if you accidentally pool... The balloon right on top of your tower and that could end up just being quite a disaster so he's gonna go baby dragon we're gonna get a valkyrie down to tank for that should be all right over there hopefully i timed that well i believe i timed that exactly right yeah i think i did there we go that was really satisfying timing over there also guys i forgot if i said this i don't think i did the evolve valkyrie technically got a indirect buff because of the last balance changes because you can only have one evolution in your deck and because the Evolve Royal Recruits got a nerf, as well as the the Evolve Archers, that means the Evolve Valkyrie got a buff. So even if on release she wasn't that good, she is better now. And definitely, I would say, one of the best Evos in the game, or bare minimum average. I mean, she, of course, is, in my opinion, better than the Evolve Mortar, the Evolve Royal Giant. I would even say the Evolve Firecracker, and probably the Evolve Bats as well. So... She is pretty good, but she's not absolutely broken. And in my opinion, she's exactly what Evo should be because her main thing is her special ability. She doesn't have any extra health or deal any extra damage. It's actually quite similar to the Evolve Ice Spirit. And by the way, the Evolve Ice Spirit sucks. That's one of the Evos that uh, is uh, worse than the Evolve Valk, obviously. But anyway, this game is going pretty well thus far, uh, thus far as long as we don't end up choking... Um, Okay, I thought I missed that bomb tower for a second. That would have been a choke. <laughs> I thought I played that bomb tower too late, but we did get it down just in the nick of time. He was forced to go for a freeze on top of the wall breakers over there. We're going to go for a defensive miner on the baby dragon and then go for a magic archer. And I think we're chilling here. So let's actually get a evolve valk down. And, ooh, okay, here's what I want to do. I want to NATO that. Nice! That was, see, that was clean. The double NATO. Oh, it was so close to being lined up. Sadly, it wasn't. We're going to go Wall Breakers in the other lane. Yeah, that kind of sucked. I feel like there's some moments where the Evolve Valve can be really good, and then others where it just kind of doesn't do a whole lot. But that's kind of a lot of Evos, to be fair. Like, a lot of them are very situational. A perfect example of that would be the Evolved Skeletons. Like, that is just crazy. I think I can pull that NATO off. Yeah, there we go. There's just so many NATO combinations you can do. There's also things where you can you can line up the Magic Archer with the Evolved Valk as well. Like, get super fancy with that if you memorize the interactions. Like, it's just crazy. Um, I'm going to try to get a Magic Archer lined up here on the Bowler. Ooh, he went Balloon. I mean, that was a pretty good play on his end. This guy's definitely putting up a pretty good fight. I'm just going to go for a Miner. We're going to try to get some more chip damage here and go for a... Ooh, I was trying to... Okay, so he did that. And he froze, actually. That Bowler is lined up on the tower, so it's getting a lot of damage. I do got to watch out a little bit. We could just go for a Bomb Tower here, though, and I think we're A-OK. -okay. We're going to Miner going here on the tower, and then uh, let's just NATO that. Boom! We're chilling. That is pretty solid. And uh, that is going to be GG. 
Well, um, I feel a little bad because this guy's not at 9k. I guess we're kind of pulling a B-Rad today where we're being the final boss and not letting people get to 9k. Here we go. This guy's at 9k. I do genuinely feel a little bad for beating the last guy and, you know, him not being at 9k. So I, I, I do feel a little bad. I actually didn't realize it at the start. That's part of it as well. But we're just going to minor here. He is going to catch it. Ooh, he's got the... Um, the pump yeah this is kind of rough when you have to play against a deck that has pump and you don't have any spell for taking it out that is that's that's pretty brutal to say the least uh we'll we'll see what we can do though he's got a ghost so it's gonna be three musketeers for sure i don't know how we're gonna win this this is gonna be very challenging probably with the uh primarily the valk is gonna be the main way we win i feel like uh, I'm definitely going to need the king activation here. There's there's certainly no doubt about that. Um, only problem, though, is we're taking a whew, heck of a lot of damage there. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm already not really feeling this, this, <laughs> this match. I mean, it just started, and yeah, we got a king activation, but... This elixir disadvantage is just insane. I I have no idea what we're going to do when he starts putting the pressure on. I guess I'll go bomb tower here. I kind of have to because with my cycle, I don't know what else I could have done there. But yeah, I, I, I just I just don't know. This this match is, is going to be rough. Maybe Evo Valk can carry. I'm, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out potentially. Maybe go Spear Gobs here, and then I'll probably go for a, uh, yeah, well, we're going to need a defensive miner for sure. Okay, so he gets the 3M down. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we can, like, log and then get a, okay, the Evo Valk is putting in work against those muskies. I will say that, but I don't know how much that really matters. Well, I'm going to go Minor Wall Breakers. I feel like we kind of have to. He might just let those connect. Nah, he goes E-Barbs. I was going to say, I thought maybe he would just let those connect and go 3M. And just destroy me with the Elixir Advantage. But he didn't even do that, so... Um, let's see here. We can just go Defensive Minor. Oh, he didn't even do the Golden Knight Dash. I thought he was going to do that there. I, I was really expecting him to do that, and I'm surprised he didn't. I guess I'll just go Magic Archer at this point. And uh, let's see. Maybe uh, we'll log that. I'm going to go Valk on that side and then get Spear Goblins down. I did get them down in time. Okay, so we will have the Evo Valk, which is nice. Oh, he goes Split E-Barbs. All right. Let's see what he does here. He goes Golden Knight, Heal Spirit. Oh, wow, that is, okay, wow, if that was lined up, that would have been amazing, sadly it wasn't, we're gonna go for our Evo Valk here, and honestly, guys, we might have actually found an opening here, like, we might actually low-key be able to, uh, kind of make a comeback, I don't know, um, Magic Archer is still alive, being an absolute nuisance for him, we might actually be able to win this. This is crazy. Because he doesn't have a pump down either. That's the thing, right? He doesn't have a pump down. Oh, wow. 3M all in the same lane. What we could actually do is probably NATO that. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty decent. And then we get a Valk on top of everything. Bang! Boom! Absolutely brutal. That was brutal, those 3M going down there. Magic Archer lined up. Boop, boop, boop. Game. GG. That was clutch. He even gave me the well played.